Greetings, fellow explorers. Welcome to Country Curiosity, your passport to an extraordinary journey around the globe. Here, we set out on exhilarating adventures, traversing diverse countries, states, and cities, to uncover the hidden gems and fascinating tidbits that often escape the traveler's eye. Mumbai, the city of dreams, where the spirit of Bollywood and the rhythm of life converge in a symphony of colors and chaos. Get ready to explore the whimsical world of Mumbai's strange laws, and embark on an adventure that will leave you both amused and enlightened. First on the list, no eating or drinking in public places during certain hours. Yes, you heard it right. Welcome to Mumbai, where even hunger and thirst have a schedule to follow, in an effort to maintain cleanliness and prevent littering. Certain areas in Mumbai impose restrictions on consuming food or beverages during specific hours of the day. These regulations are particularly common in popular tourist spots and busy commercial areas, where the influx of people can lead to excessive trash and create sanitation challenges. By adhering to these laws, residents and visitors play a crucial role in keeping the city clean and preserving its charm. Remember, timing is everything, even when it comes to satisfying those munchies. Second, no spitting in public places. Mumbai, like many other cities in India, has been grappling with the issue of spitting in public areas. The practice of spitting is not only unhygienic but also contributes to the spread of infections and diseases. To maintain a cleaner and more sanitary environment, authorities have imposed strict measures against spitting in public spaces. Fines or penalties are often levied against those who engage in this unsavory behavior. Mumbai citizens are encouraged to embrace healthier habits and contribute to a more hygienic cityscape. Remember, no one wants to slip on your unwanted saliva. Number 3, no bathing or washing clothes in public fountains or water bodies. We know Mumbai is hot and happening, but let's not turn these iconic fountains into urban swimming pools or laundry hubs. The architectural marvels and serene water bodies of Mumbai's public spaces draw tourists and locals alike. Bathing or using these fountains for laundry purposes can lead to water pollution, damage the structure, and detract from the cultural significance of these sites. By respecting these laws, residents and tourists demonstrate their appreciation for Mumbai's rich heritage. Fourth one is the no honking zones. Honk, honk, oops, sorry, not in Mumbai's no honking zones. Mumbai's roads are known for the constant traffic flow and the harmonious cacophony of honking. To create pockets of tranquility amidst the city's bustling streets, certain areas may be designated as no honking zones. These zones are typically located near hospitals, schools, and residential areas, where minimizing noise pollution is essential. Drivers are encouraged to be considerate of their fellow commuters and refrain from honking unnecessarily, contributing to a more peaceful and pleasant driving experience. 5. Prohibition on feeding stray animals. Mumbai is home to numerous stray animals, particularly dogs and cats, who have adapted to urban life. While many individuals have good intentions in feeding these animals, this practice can lead to overpopulation, sanitation issues, and conflicts with residents. To manage the stray animal population and ensure their welfare, authorities discourage the feeding of strays without proper supervision and regulation. We all love the furry pals who roam our streets, but let's not turn them into the city's pampered food critics. Next, no street performances without permits. In Mumbai, the streets are always buzzing with creativity. But remember, even artists need paperwork to maintain order and manage public gatherings. Street performers may require permits from the local authorities. These permits help regulate performances, ensure safety standards are met, and prevent crowding in busy areas. By obtaining the necessary permits, artists can continue to share their talents while contributing to the city's cultural diversity. Another one is no open burning of waste. Let's face it, burning waste is so last season. Waste management is a pressing concern in a city as populous as Mumbai. Open burning of trash is not only harmful to the environment but also poses health risks to nearby residents. To address this issue, strict regulations may be in place to prohibit the open burning of waste materials. Residents are encouraged to utilize proper waste disposal methods and support recycling initiatives to minimize environmental impact. Skip the bonfire and opt for eco-friendly disposal methods. Nature will thank you, and so will our lungs. Number 8. No selling non-vegetarian food on certain days was a regulation implemented in Mumbai, India, which imposed limitations on the sale of non-vegetarian food items. 
on designated days or during particular religious festivals. This rule was likely established to respect the religious and cultural sensitivities of certain communities that observe vegetarianism during significant occasions. The prohibition aimed to ensure that these religious events were observed without causing offense or discomfort to those who choose not to consume non-vegetarian food. 9. The ban on dancing after 11.30 p.m. was a regulation that reportedly existed in Mumbai, India. This law prohibited dancing in establishments such as bars, nightclubs, and other entertainment venues after the designated time of 11.30 p.m. The intention behind this regulation was likely related to maintaining public order, noise control, and preventing disturbances during late hours. Tenth is Mumbai's, no selling of water balloons, rule. Curtailed the sale and use of water balloons in public spaces to address water wastage and maintain order. The prohibition, while dampening the excitement of water balloon fights, aimed to promote responsible leisure, conserve water resources, and prevent disruptions. This quirky regulation highlighted Mumbai's commitment to sustainability, reflecting a thoughtful balance between traditional playfulness and modern conservation efforts during monsoon seasons. Next, no public display of affection. Ah, young love. But let's remember, Mumbai is not a rom-com set. Mumbai has a rich cultural heritage that places value on modesty and decorum in public spaces. Consequently, public displays of affection, such as kissing or hugging, may be discouraged in conservative areas or places of worship. Understanding and respecting cultural norms demonstrate a considerate attitude toward the local community and its customs. Number 12 is no playing loud music after a particular hour. In densely populated cities like Mumbai, residents yearn for moments of tranquility amid the urban buzz. To ensure a peaceful living environment, authorities may regulate the playing of loud music or engaging in noisy activities, especially during late hours. By adhering to these regulations, individuals contribute to fostering a harmonious community and maintaining good neighborly relations. 13. We have no littering or urinating in public. Maintaining cleanliness and hygiene in public spaces is a shared responsibility. Littering and public urination can contribute to an unsightly environment and create health hazards. In an effort to keep Mumbai clean and attractive, strict measures may be enforced against these practices. Proper waste disposal and the use of public toilets are encouraged to create a cleaner and more hygienic cityscape. We don't need a P-Wall competition. Another is the no eating or drinking on local trains. This policy in Mumbai prohibited passengers from consuming food or drinks during train rides to uphold cleanliness and hygiene. Violations of this rule could result in fines or penalties. The regulation aimed to maintain the cleanliness of the trains and prevent littering, spillage, and the attraction of pests. This policy acknowledged the high volume of commuters on local trains and sought to create a more pleasant and sanitary travel environment. While it may have inconvenienced some passengers, the focus was on promoting a respectful and hygienic atmosphere for everyone, emphasizing the importance of collective responsibility and consideration in the bustling urban transit system. Lastly, Midnight Mass Marriages Act. Ah, yes, the Midnight Mass Marriages Act, the perfect solution to tackle the menace of lavish wedding expenses. In some regions of India, including Mumbai, there used to be a law that allowed marriages to take place only between midnight and 4 a.m. The intention behind this law remains unclear, but it is likely that it was a way to reduce expenses on extravagant wedding ceremonies. So there you have it, Mumbai's quirky laws. Embrace the fun side of these regulations while contributing to a happier, cleaner, and more harmonious cityscape. Delighted by this quirky journey through Mumbai's laws? Then don't be a stranger. Show some love by tapping that like button and subscribing for more captivating escapades from across the globe. And guess what? You're invited to our tribe of adventurous souls on Facebook. Find the links in the description and join our exciting travel community. But wait, there's more. If you thought this was mind-blowing, brace yourself for another mind-bending experience. Check out, Explore New Delhi, 15 Unbelievable Laws You Need to See to Believe, for a double dose of amazement. So, did you uncover something fascinating? I sure hope you did. See you in the next one.